one year ago today, everyone. One year ago today. And, um, how's it going, everybody? It is, um, Sunday, um, um, January 23rd, 2022 at 5.15 p.m. Um, I'm gonna do a video on, on this day in hockey history, um, of what happened, um, honestly, if you're a Jets, if you're a hockey fan, uh, you know what I'm talking about, um, yeah, if you're a hockey fan but don't know what happened on this day, then whatever, maybe you're living under a rock, I don't know, maybe, well, some people can't remember dates sometimes, so whatever, we'll give them a break there, um, hold on, sorry about that, guys, I just had to do some, um, yeah, um, so the Jets, the Winnipeg Jets, um, Columbus Blue Jackets made a trade, um, Patrick Lawn and Jack Rosmith to Columbus for pure Luke Dubois on a third round pick. Um, and I'm gonna not, not gonna lie, with all the Lawn trade rumors, I was pretty heated. I get pretty, I used to get pretty heated when um, you know, when I hear about Lawn trade rumors, because you know, like we're gonna lose another generational goal scorer like Timus Lawn and Alex Ovechkin. Um, yeah, Rosmith, because he requested a trade like like a month earlier, so I wasn't um, disappointed in that, you know. And plus, Rosmith was home, so yeah. I wasn't too mad about that, and, um, yeah, but, yeah, remember all the trade rumors, like, Lonnie saying, uh, he wants to play with better players, um, you know, saying he should be playing f demanded first line minutes, yeah, um, and Pierre Lutzbar requested a trade as well, and we all know how that happened with that last shift or whatever, yeah, that was a little, shouldn't really defend that, um, yeah, like, oh my god, we we seriously traded for this guy, like, I liked him before, but damn, he, we don't want that on our team, you know, like, we don't need, we, like, Lonnie, like, plays so lazy, but not as bad as what Dubois did, but yeah, and, uh, you know, um, and when the day trade, I'll tell you how, I remember this day happened, um, before, like, during the trade, um, it was, um, very early in the morning, I got with my mom, just, like, like, do some running around or whatever, and, um, yeah, so we brought my dog with me, you know, Kate, and, uh, and we got some McDonald's, um, to, for breakfast, well, I got Tim Hortons, she got, my, um, got family McDonald's, so, yeah, um, cause I like, I'm a Tim Hortons guy, but, um, so, yeah, when I got home, um, um, so I just had some breakfast, and I saw on, uh, I was on YouTube, you know, and I saw a, a live stream saying Lonnie got traded. Like, huge trade. Patrick Lonnie, Pierre Dubois got traded. I was like, nah. I like Gravity, but you know, you know Gravity, the hockey YouTuber. He's a good guy. Um, yeah. And, um, I was like, yeah, some people like to clickbait sometimes. So I just move on. And then someone called me upstairs saying Lonnie got traded. And my granddad was here. I was like, what? Yet, for real? Oh, and I was so heated, too. You know, like, can't believe the Jets actually did this, you know? Like, what are you doing, Chevy? You know, God. So, yeah. So, I did a rant on it. You guys already seen it. Um, yeah. And I look on Twitter. Yep, it's, it's true. Like, on TSN. It's like, oh, my God, why? Yeah, I got a little depressed. Um, so I made a video on it. Um, yeah, so, so then I, later then I got to like, you know, like, the thought it off, like think of more of it, and I actually like, I actually liked it the more I thought of it, actually, you know, Pierre Luc Dubois is a driving power forward center, and that's someone the Jets uh, kind of need, so yeah, we need a second line center too, because our center core was horrible before, you know, like Shifley, Wheeler played center, he, he was, wasn't horrible, but he wasn't like, He's a more he's a right winger at best. And Jack Rothfick, eh, he's all right, like, not the best, but he could. He's more of a winger too, honestly. And uh, Brian Little was injured. Adam Lowry's is not a top six guy. Maybe Andrew Cop, but yeah. What else? Uh, so yeah, went to my grandparents to see my uncle Joe. What he thought of the trade? And he actually liked the trade, you know, because. Uh, you know, because we know Lonnie can score, like, like 40-plus goals. But, yep, yeah, Dubois plays, like, a hard style, like a power forward, you know. Like, a very good style of hockey, you know. So, yeah. And I wasn't upset about Jack Ross for getting traded. But I just felt like, um, 
at the times we should have got more in return other than Dubois. Because we already know he's a great player, but um, we should have got more in return. Maybe like David Savard, whatever. And yeah, a prospect, a another higher pick, yeah. But nope, just Dubois in the third. And yeah, I got you got over, you know. I looked on the positive side of the trade. And uh, yeah. And on this day, um, also on that day as well, my Uncle Joe got me this. This was uh, originally his. Like, I didn't want it. It's yours. But no, he decided because he knew I was adding a collection. So, yeah. That's awesome. So, thank you, Uncle Joe. Um, Yeah. So, I decided to wear it. And, yeah. And me and my family um just did some running around again. And just liked the trade more and more, you know. Um, okay. I actually like this more. I trust Chevy majority of the time. So, yeah. Um, Chevy's a good GM. He knows what he's doing. And then the rumors are reason Lonnie left because... Because he was bullied out by Wheeler, Scheifele, and Maurice, which I personally don't believe that. Yeah, I can see them being, like, strict on him, but, like, you gotta get your ass out of your head. Well, Scheifele doesn't swear, but I don't believe that, no. And, because I think Lonnie de and Rossman demanded, like, top six minutes. Like, guys, you know, I liked you guys, but you guys weren't playing your best. Like, Lonnie plays, like, a fourth liner. Like, it's true, especially in, like, the, you know, 18-19 season when you only... Like, he went, like, a lot of games without a goal, you know. He's just, like, flowing around like Peter Pan. And, uh, yeah. You know, same with Roslovic, you know. Like, not as bad, but I don't know. Well, Roslovic was somewhat inconsistent, too. They're good players, but still inconsistent at times, you know. So, yeah. And, um... Yeah, so, and I knew um, Lonnie had an attitude problem, so... Because I remember in, like, summer of 2019, he threw some of his teammates under the bus, especially Brian Little, and he apologized to that, and Little was fine with it, which is good, but still, he shouldn't throw your teammates under the bus, you know, it's, that's kind of how you, like, lose respect for a player, you know? Like, I know Lonnie a, has a great shot, and he's a great goal scorer, but uh, he somewhat hasn't had an ego, though. And yeah. Um. So, yeah. And I knew he wasn't getting along with Tortorella, because he got benched a few times, I heard. And yeah, um, yeah, Rosvick was awesome that year too, but he did, but this year he's not doing much, I heard. Low key, it's kind of satisfying, but I don't know, because everyone said we got robbed in the trade, but look at this trade compared to last year to this year. Look at Pierre-Luc Dubois this year, he's a, he's a tank, you know, he tries his every shift, um, he gets into the dirty areas, and you know, I know Lonnie had... Uh, can't really compare with Lonnie because uh, he had, he got an injury and his dad died. Which rest in peace to his dad. Uh, rest in peace to his dad. Um, and Ross, like I heard he was playing like third and fourth line minutes this year, like fourth line. He was a healthy scratch at one point too. So yeah, Jets got robbed my ass. You know, and I will say this: anyone who says the Jets got robbed know nothing about hockey. I, I don't care. Um, if you disagree, fine, but that's just what I think, you know. A lot of people agree with that, too. So, yeah. Um. I wasn't trying, I wasn't trying to diss Lonnie and Rossovic either, but it was kind of true, though. You know. You know, if he didn't get along with Maurice, there's no, there's no chance in hell he's going to get along with, uh, Tortorella. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, because remember, like, Lonnie was demanding first line, and Rossberg were demanding top six minutes, like, first line. Like, Shifley and Wheeler were better than you, though, because they tried, not too much this year, sometimes, but not, uh, like, during the Lonnie era, at least they, they played better than you, though. Like, they're, like, they're playing good defensively, yeah. You know, it's true, though. So, Wheeler was not a, like, Wheeler, um, uh, like, Lonnie had a better shot, but Wheeler was still a better player overall, you know? So, yeah. I know he's declining now, but still. So, yeah. Um, Imperial Dubois is a beast, man. Love the guy. Um, so, yeah, what else to say? Um, I don't know what else to say, but, yeah. Um, that's all I have to say for the video. So, yeah, if you like the tri video, that's fine. Um, it wasn't the best. I'm not the best at this type of shit, but, yeah. Um... What were your guys' um? But were you got? Where were you guys and like when Lonnie got traded? When you heard the news, if you're a Jets fan or Jackets fan, so yeah, I just kind of want to like 
I'm kind of curious to know, you know, like where, where were you guys um, when it happened, how you heard it, and yeah. So let me know in the comments what you think, and yeah. So have a good rest of your day, everyone. I'll see you.